Hello everyone, thank you so much for the love and support that you have shown me in my Power Meter post. I received so many comments, a lot of messages, a lot of emails that I'm, that I'm still going through. But uh, looking just some of the comments, people had requested me to do more detailed explanation or small video to be able to show how the meter works. I'm so excited. The past one week we've been working on the new software and firmware of the meter. I'm happy to be able to present to you all the new features that we have embedded in the meter. So apart from uh, the power meters, we also produce other IoT devices. Uh, we have um, internet uh, devices, so these are 4G router. So these are also a 4G uh, MiFi. We also have OBD device to do remote diagnostic of cars. We have water meters, we have smart home devices, we have gas meter, and also uh, we have tracking devices for motorbikes and cars. On the meter, we have both single face and three face. So I think it's time for the demo now. So this is how we receive all the components of different products that we do. Once we receive them, we insert them in the machine. So we have different feeders holding different components and then program the machine uh, according to the PCB that we're doing at that particular time. And then once that is done, the process starts. So this is the three-phase meter. I'll quickly demonstrate how uh, you control the meter. Apart from just doing uh, the remote recharge, we've also added several functions that will, uh, I'll quickly take you through. So number one, as you can see here, there's an alarm because the meter is off. And then this is low credit uh, indicator and the light is off. So the light is off because there is no unit in the meter. As you can see, the meter has shown no credit. Now from my phone, I will quickly do a 15 units recharge. Okay, so that's uh, sent 15 units. So it should be able to send to the meter. Okay, now we have green, all right, and you have your 15 units and the light is on, okay? So that's the first function. You can be able to do uh, remote recharge without you having to press anywhere. Then secondly, we've also packed other features for the user. For example, let's say I'm away from my house, but I don't want my power to continue being used. So from my phone, I can easily turn off my power. So the power is off, okay? And then let's say I want to turn on my power, I can be, be able to do, uh, with a simple command, I can be able to turn on my power. Then I have, let's say, so this is 15 units, as you can see. So let me say, let me add another 15, or let me add another 20 units, all right? So let me quickly add, uh, recharge, okay? So now we're adding 20 more. So we have 35. So you have another meter. For example, uh, I have been called by my mom in the village. She says she doesn't have units and I don't have the money. I can be able to take 10 units from this meter and send it to my mom's meter, okay? So let's take quickly. So you see, now we have 25, All right? So we have 25, so we've taken 10 units back to the phone, then I can be able to send the 10 units too. So these are typical African problem, uh, whereby, because even you, you can be able to share airtime. So we thought, why not share power with uh, maybe members of your family? So that's another function. And then on the meter, what we have done, you can actually be able to, for example, you have 25 units. You're moving from this house to another house. What's happening now, if you're moving from one house to another, you will leave all the units with the meter. But with this technology, I can actually be able to move with my remaining 25 units to my new house. So once I go to the house, I simply uh, uh, add the units that have moved from this house. So this 25 now, now it's red, I've taken all my units, so I can move to another house. And then when I go to the house, I just need to enter uh, the new meter number, Okay, and then I can be able to add the 25 units that were in my uh, previous meter. Okay, now you have the 25. And then apart from that, we also do uh, power quality, and then we've incorporated a technology called appliance protection. So with appliance protection, when there is a power outage, when the power comes back, you are actually, uh, the meter will be able to test, check the voltage is, is okay, then it will be able to connect. So with that technology, you don't need to have the fridge guard. And then on your phone, you'll have real-time information on the, 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 your, power, your, your power quality. And then apart from that, you can as well do, uh, uh, you can be able to do 
uh, power management so let's say you want to consume 10 units a month so if you want to uh, 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 consume like you want to set your energy targets let's say i want to i want to be uh, consuming 20 dollars a month you can be able to set that in the app or ussd so the meter will be able to help you manage and then uh, it will be able to help you manage to be able to to operate within your energy targets and then also apart from that if you have um, let's say uh, you have different appliances in your house you have fridge you have iron box you'll be able to get real-time data analytics in your phone you'll be able to know which hour you're spending more power which days you're spending more power so that is very important information to be able to help you make decision even buying your appliances for example let's say your fridge when your fridge turns on it turns off you can be able to see all that in terms of uh, um, uh, a graph where like how many times your fridge has turned on how many it has turned off is it energy efficient when your fridge turns on how much is it consuming so all that information is important for you to make decisions even in buying your uh, appliances and then on the other end you have a back end so uh, i'll scroll up so this is now this data is sent to the utility company in real time so this is the email uh, the, the 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 email that is in the meter then you have signal that's date and time and then you have voltages different so these are different um, uh, uh, phases so this information is important let's say you see this is uh, this is phase a this is phase b and this is phase c so this uh, uh, the voltage is the same so that means all the three phases the voltage is the same so for example you have phase failure the utility company very fast can be able to detect a phase failure uh, in real time because one of the if one of the phases goes down it's easier for them to know let's say there's a transformer problem there's over voltage so they're using this they can be able to know let's say we have a problem there's under voltage the utility company can be able to know so this is the uh, and then um, you have the frequency so this is the frequency so if you have a, also a, again you have a problem you can be able to easily detect because you also have the frequency and then also the way uh, this is the remaining units in this particular meter so you can be able to monitor in real time how many units are remaining and then this how much you're drawing in your meter for example let's say you have a particular house so uh, the utility company can be able to know in this particular village how many power how much power they're drawing at a particular time so this information is very important also for the utility company to be able to make decisions so if i turn off this light you will see that the, um, it will it will uh, it will change. Eh? So let me just quickly turn off the light, so you can you you you'll be able to see. Uh, and uh, ju scroll ju. So newer messages come from the top. Uh, uh, here here scroll ju 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 ju. Okay, yeah. So just one moment. So usually the meter reports after every yeah. So now scroll chin. So you see now the current is. The amount of current that is being drawn is zero. That means there's nothing that is on in that particular household. So this is real-time information that will be sent to utility company and using uh, data, using analytics, using uh, uh, reports, they can be able to, to use this important information to make decisions. So that's, that is what we have and uh, we are constantly improving the meter because we are in Africa, we know all the challenges that we as Africans are going through. And uh, we constantly, because all the meta supports real time over the air software update, so we'll be, uh, we will uh, keep on improving it to make sure that at least we uh, solve all the issues uh, that we are facing in day to day. Thank you very much. Keep supporting this, uh, uh, supporting us. We really appreciate every comment, every uh, 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 every comment, every like. Uh, Every uh, suggestion that you guys have are really important for us to be able to improve on this technology. Asante.